Remember when Americans were mining for uranium? Isn't that radioactive? Let me explain. On July 6, 1952, a geologist named Charlie Steen discovered the largest high-grade uranium deposit in the United States, just outside of Moab, Utah. It was worth $60 million. This set off a uranium gold rush in the 1950s. Americans flooded the West Coast with a Geiger counter and a dream to find uranium that they could sell to the government for a lot of cash. Like regular people? Yeah. It gets weirder. So uranium is a common metal that's used as fuel for nuclear power. And during the Cold War, the United States stopped importing it in favor of domestic sources instead. And that's where civilians came in. The government even distributed these pamphlets on how to prospect for uranium safely. Are you sure you should be holding that? Soon, uranium fever started spreading all around, and it led to a massive spike in commercial Geiger counter sales. The towns that formed around these uranium mines flourished, but the boom was a bust for most Americans. Only major companies had the resources to find profitable uranium deposits, so most people People went home with nothing, which is why regular people don't really mine for radioactive materials anymore. Maybe one reason why.